What's up, guys? Dave from Six Minutes Anger coming to you live again from this channel I created. Today, believe it or not, is Les Paul's birthday. The guy that brought us the Les Paul. He would be 101, I think, today. Uh, he passed away in 2009. An incredible man. So today, I thought I'd just go through my Les Pauls and give you some geeky names that I came up with. I don't know. Maybe you guys name your guitars too. Yeah, you know, like a BB King. You know, they had Lucille. You know that type of stuff. So let's check out. See what all I got. All right. Okay. This first guitar is my. Uh, this is an LPJ. Um, I got this. I don't know, three or four years ago or whatever. It's actually it's actually Gibson. Uh, this is when they reintroduced the LPJs. This is a full size Les Paul. Uh, it's really nice. It's got the um, uh, 498 and 490 uh, pickups in it from Gibson. They're just covered, but it's a really nice guitar. They just saved a lot of money, um, you know, just going satin finish and things like that. Um, but I named this one Muddy Buddy. I don't, you know, it's just muddy, and it's 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 got a nice wood look to it. I like it. So, but that's number one. This one here is my Les Paul Custom Pro. Um, this one got me a lot of views on uh, when I did the uh, um, review for it. Um, very nice guitar, very nice. Um, I called this one the White Knight. Very nice, very nice. I like the like the gold with the white, with the black. You know, very nice. I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. This one here is my uh, Les Paul Prophecy in blue. Um, I just did a video not too long on this because of the triangle being right side up. I called it my Illuminati guitar. But uh, no, this was actually bought because of my mom. Uh, she was a piano player, um, you know, and she inspired me a lot uh, as far as music. And you know, my sister played the piano, my uncle, my uncle played guitar, my dad played guitar and banjo. So you know, I come from a long line of just music. But um, she loved blue, and you know, she supported me a lot in my music. So I bought this in honor of her, and I named this one Linda Sue Blue. Thanks, mom. Love you. This one here is my Epiphone Les Paul Standard. Uh, this is one of those ones where you got a nice pair of blue jeans that fit just perfect. This is one of those ones that just feel right every which way you play it. Um, I've had this guitar for like 16 years. I bought it at a little shop in Zane, or uh, up in Newark. It's called Sheet and Sons in Ohio. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. I switched out the pickups. You know, just had the standard Epiphone type pickups in it. I put some Seymour Duncan JB sets in here, and uh, so I just basically took the last name of Les Paul and the last name of Duncan, or Seymour Duncan, and named it Paul Duncan. So that's what this one is, Paul Duncan. This one, I can't name it. Uh, I could, but <laughs> um, this is the Zach Wild Les Paul Custom Bullseye. Uh, this is the Epiphone version. Very nice guitar. Uh, came fitted with the EMG HZ pickups back in the day. Uh, I swapped it out for the, uh, just the EMG, you know, the 8185s that he uses. It didn't really sound that great in here, so I ended up selling those, and then I put the EMG HZs back in it. Sounds really good, plays awesome, so I can't name this one myself. I just call it the Bullseye, naturally, because that's what Zach calls it, right? Okay, guys, so there's, that was all the less Pauls that I have. Just going to give you a couple extras, but just because I told you that uh, you know, name my guitars. So this one here, I was looking for a flying V one day, and uh, I was able to get this nice Corona V Epiphone. But what is weird, it says Gibson right there. But uh, anyway, this is a really nice guitar. Uh, quick story behind it. Uh, I called a local shop here where I live and uh, asked if they had any flying Vs in, and they said, No, yeah, well, we do have one. You know, because I, I looked at other ones. I looked at you know. They had a Gibson V and things like that. It's a little more pricey or out of the price range. And he's like, well, I'll tell you what. Do me a favor. Come down. I do have a flying V in. It's a Corona V. I was like, Corona? I never really heard of, heard of that at the time. And uh, he's like, you know, we just got it in. Come on in. Check it out. I'm like, okay. So I came down and checked it out. Played it for a minute. Like, Man, that's really nice. You know, what are you asking for it? He's like, well, that with the hard shell case. Set of strings that you want. We'll put on it for you. 225 out the door. And I'm like, 225 Corona V plays really well. Get a hard shell case. Yeah, I'll take it. There it is. 
So I call this one uh, Dirty Roads. Okay. They look kind of like Randy Rhodes Flying V, but it's dirty looking. I don't know. Whatever. But that's what I'm here. Dirty Rhodes. Okay, guys. So this one here is um, this is my Schecter Diamond Series. Um, nice guitar. Really nice guitar. I uh, bought this years ago. I actually ended up selling it for some stupid reason. And then I missed it like crazy. And then luckily the guy I sold it to uh, was understanding. And I was able to get it back for pretty much what I sold for it. So yeah, it's really, it's a really nice guitar. Plays well. Um, you know, don't call me crazy, but I don't know. I named my the uh, uh, the blue prophecy after my mom because she passed away. Um, this one here, I named after my cousin who passed away years ago. We used to call her Robin, and her nickname was Ruby. And this is kind of like a ruby red type color. I don't know. If you're, if you're out in the daylight, it's really bright red. So I called this one Ruby. In honor of her. And last but not least, this here is the Chapman Ghost Fret. Very nice guitar, uh, well made, unbelievable. For the amount of money, there's so much quality in this and like top notch stuff. You got the hip shot tuners and everything, and it's just like wow. <laughs> and don't let these pickups fool you. They are Chapman designed humbuckers, but they're passive aggressive and they are awesome. Very, very awesome pickups. Um, but yeah, I did not name this one either. Uh, it's a good fret. Why change it, right? So that's it, guys. That's my uh, that's my collection. That's my names and my guitars. I got a got an acoustic, but I hardly ever play it anyway. Uh, and then you know you've seen in my other videos where I have guitars hanging on the wall, but they're just like chintzy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy birthday, Les Paul. And rock on, everyone. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, it's all about the music. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. See you later. Bye.